I'm I'm truly at a loss for words, y'all. So October 28th, 2019. Let, let's go ahead and get into it with Tadra Call. So Tadra Call done went and done fucked it all the way up because you know they're gonna try their best to darn gonna paint him as the old community. So I, I I'm here right now on behalf of everybody. To say that his LGBT privileges have been revoked. We have the Argonne, took his Argonne activism play, uh, badge and everything behind this scandal. Until further notice. Because this right here, we, we, we can't accept this. We we can't darn on turn a nose up to it. We can't condone it. We can't make no double standards. Because if we want to call out the Harvey Weinsteins. If we want to call out the Pill Cosby's. We're going to have to call out the Taja calls, too, for his alleged darn gone devious behavior. So if y'all have not been made aware of Taja Call, who has worked with the likes of Taylor Swift, Beyonce, and uh, many others, and has been frequent on RuPaul's Drag Race, let the best bitch win. RuPaul's Drag Race, let the best bitch win. Honey, been on RuPaul's Drag Race and everything. Turns out the 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 theatrical productions that he has done on his albums, which I thought was quite memorable, and I gave him his props and everything, that the 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 quality for what he is on his level was equivalent to a Beyonce. Like I I haven't seen nobody do that where the entire album uh was a video production and it all had a cohesive storyline. It had graphics, it had editing, it had the hair, it had the choreography. He was embodying it all of that in his own type of way. And you had the dancers and you had features from big names on both productions because he did the revamp on the second one. He had Tamar Braxton and, you know, Nicole Short singer. I mean, the like the, the the list just goes on and on. I, and then on the new one, the Tiffany Haddish. I mean, the list just goes on and on of the people that he's had. But it seems like outside the A-list clientele, baby, honey, the no names were not getting no paycheck, honey. The no names have said not only was they not getting a paycheck, but they was being fondled down to the Dargon, uh uh, in the hallways and shit, he was flipping out the darn on six inch dick, trying to whip it out like nobody business. Hot damn. And you wonder why nobody wasn't giving a damn, honey, because what they were saying about your little stubby darn on self, honey, wasn't nobody trying to engage in no menage a trois with you. You was trying to act like you trying to show off the cakes like you Nikki, honey, but you ain't got that motherfucking Nikki paycheck. You down there trying to follow the girls like you Harvey Weinstein, like you Bill Cosby, but at least with the girls, and I'm not justifying rape culture in any type of way, but at least they did get some settlements. At least they did get some pay when they was around. You darn on trying to follow the girls for free. But you ain't your mama, uh, uh, allegedly. You ain't darn on, uh, you ain't one of the girls like that. You ain't darn on trade, honey. You you a queen too. But the thing is, you're not even a sexy queen like that, bitch. You average. In every way from what I'm hearing. It's like, bitch, you, you average in the face and you average downstairs. What you whipping out six inches for? They said that you darn gone dick shorter than the heels that you sport, honey. You down there darn gone whipping it out. Just darn gone risking a darn gone uh, a HR complaint. Just risking darn on people to darn on report you. But you thought you was going to have some immunity because you got Beyonce on your side. You got Taylor Swift. You over down there at the AMA Awards and shit. You got Paul on your side. And I'm telling you right now, Paul, I better not see him on this upcoming season. Now, I understand that y'all filmed the shit months in advance. So we got to give Paul a pass if we see darn on Taja Call. And some of the upcoming uh, episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race, let the best bitch win. RuPaul's Drag Race, let the best bitch win. Okay, we understand y'all filmed that shit six months in advance. But after this, 
Honey, we better not see Todd down there trying to give darn gone sassy choreography, and he ain't giving nobody a darn gone sassy check. Well, for damn, honey, the girls saying that they darn gone penniless. Even your darn gone girls down there, the RuPaul's Drag Race, Manila, uh, what, what's her name? Manila Lazon. Mademoiselle Manila Lazon. It's confusing because she's an Asian bitch, but she, her name is darn gone La France. So Manila Lazon says she did not get her coin. She did not get it in dollars. She did not get it in francs. She did not get it in the um in the euro. She did not get any currency for Miss Tajik Hall. She didn't even get it in darn on Wizard of Oz coins, honey. She didn't get no residuals. Put some respect on my check. And pay me residual, residual, honey. She ain't got no residuals or nothing, honey. Said she darn gonna host you down to the darn on bar. And you ain't pay no fee. She ain't get a door fee. She ain't get no tips. How you a drag queen down at the bar and they ain't even tossed a dollar your way that you could pick up? That you did the whole shit off of uh, off of face value? Mm-mm. Tiger, something in the buttermilk ain't clean, honey. And speaking of buttermilk, you darn gone about uh, two shades darker than me in real life, honey. Once you turn off all them flashing, flashing lights, lights, Honey, Todd, you about two shades darker than me, and not only are you not down there paying the girls, but how in the world are you down there being a colorist, boo-boo? See, I see that the theme of the week is colorism. We calling out colorism left and right on the motherfuckers. Honey, we got Evelyn wanting to be a colorist. We got Shiny not knowing that she's a colorist, but both of them are light-skinned. They were born with it. But, bitch, you darn gone dark-skinned. You ain't in brown, bitch. You a darn gone. You milk chocolate. You darker than me. You actually milk chocolate, bitch. And they said you down there talking about the darn old, uh background dancers was a little bit too melanated. Highly favored. Mm -hmm. Honey was giving a little bit too much Negro spiritual, honey. You said you wanted to be more like Sister Mary Clarence, honey. We need a little bit more uh, porcelain up in here. Why don't we get a little bit more porcelain, porcelain? It's a little bit too deep in him. It's a little bit melanated. Honey, he was talking about it was too much melanation in the front. He, it was too much, a little bit of peace, honey. He wanted the little light darn on uh, it twinks up near the front, honey. Da, 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 da. You know, he wanted that in the front. So, it, uh, Taja, you just a hot stinking mess all the way around. You whipping out your six inch dick down there, the hallways allegedly. You trying to engage in menage a trois, allegedly. You threaten to fire people if they don't engage with you because the other two guys on the set were more attracted to each other, but neither one of them wanted to get with you, allegedly. And you trying to be a Harvey Weinstein, a Peel Cosby, and a colorist with your dark skinned darn gone, soon to be in darn gone bankruptcy having ass, a net worth of $4 million, yet don't even want to break off the girl's four cents, bitch. Got you. And then of all things, of all people that darn gone pay, why in the hell? Did you not pay the motherfucking main bitch to know all your teeth? It's like you done not pay the dancers, the makeup artists, the drag queens. But bitch, why in the hell you not going to pay the bitch that knows all your information? If anybody should be guaranteed to get a paycheck out to see, it should at least be the motherfucking assistant that know everything. The motherfucking passwords, every date and time, the one that was scheduling your darn on whole calls. Because a bitch cheap like you, you was darn on paying for darn on cheap prostitute hoes, honey. You wasn't getting the top high end escorts. He talking about you. He got the escorts for you, bitch. By bitch by he ain't he can't pay the darn on dances one two hundred dollars. I know damn well you wasn't coming off no two three thousand dollars for no darn on high end good escorts, honey. He was getting them darn on good uh them low rented hoes, honey. And you was very content with the shit until your motherfucking paycheck didn't come through. You was content with dar all the other girls not getting their motherfucking paychecks, but soon as you find out that your motherfucking darn on ass wouldn't get your paycheck as well, you darn on want to come out and tell it all, which I do commend you for. 
because we do need to be made aware of the likes of Taj Carl, but we also still got to give a one good eye up on your motherfucking ass. We ain't doing no weak winking over here. We got to keep this bitch closed and focus real slick, uh, tight and slick up on your motherfucking ass. Because I'm trying to feel like, why was you so complacent with darn gone this bullshit and darn gone uh, allowing this alleged rape culture to go in because you saying that people was darn gone uh, going down your pants and filling up on your ping, honey. And you went to report it to Tadric and Tadric punished you for it. And then you allowed that to still go on until mad day. See, we got to do better as a community. Like how in the hell we look like trying to march before Congress. Like Congress uh, at the beginning of this month, we had to march just to make sure Queens who are not darn gone um, self-employed like myself, like Tajik Hall, like you, Mr. Assistant, that we all filed 1099s at the end of the year. The ones who filed W-2s, we was marching. We darn gone put in darn gone petitions to make sure that they cannot get fired in the workplace. And then our straight counterparts uh, still want us to shut up talking about, oh, I don't see why it's a big deal, why we got to talk about sexuality, and nobody really cares. Oh, shut the fuck up. And I mean that with all much love. No no offense to my viewers here, but the ones who just uh, say that shit in general, it's like, bitch, if it didn't really matter, why in the world you, uh, you got a whole motherfucking Congress trying to ban people uh, and, and allow discrimination to happen just because of something that goes on in the bedroom? If it really wasn't that big of a deal, we wouldn't have to talk about it in the first place. If it wasn't that big of a deal, you wouldn't have to hear a queen talk about the sexuality 24-7. If every day we didn't have to deal with some sort of bill being pushed by Donald Trump and that motherfucking Pence behind the scenes. Trying to darn on turn back darn on civil rights for us. Trying to exclude us and trying to say, oh no, it shouldn't include us. That's what you really want to say, but you're trying to low-key say that civil rights already include us. But meanwhile, you're trying to make it where uh, doctors can darn on deny transgender services. You don't kick the transgenders up out the army. You're trying to make it where darn on uh, people who uh, rent and darn on sell houses can, uh, you know, real estate agents and renters can darn on deny LGBT darn on citizens. You're trying to ban darn on LGBTs from adopting children. Some people from they darn on biblical beliefs uh, is going with that shit saying, well, yeah, they shouldn't adopt people anyway. They darn on brain corrupting the children, all this, that, and the third. You're darn on uh, making it so nobody who's visibly gay can be on TV because, oh, that's darn on brainwashing the children. That, like, uh, you know, we don't, ha we can't darn on watch TV either. So we should just darn on just watch straight people. We can't have no darn on love interest that darn on look like us on the motherfucker TV. So LGBTs can't watch no show either because if you enjoy the show and they include somebody of our community, all of a sudden it's a motherfucker problem. Really? And we, we dealing with all this shit. And like I said, we had to deal with, at the beginning of the month, making it where our LGBTs who work a nine to five, a nine to five, can still do it without fear of being fired. Lights. Somebody's getting fired. Hey, hey, honey, we don't want the motherfucker uh, a bigoted bosses being able to do it. Biggity, 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 boss. See, honey, we ain't trying to get the biggity bosses that are going to uh, send our uh, LGBT queens to the unemployment line because you can't put down your motherfucking bigotry. You can't darn going to agree to this where you trying to push your religion up on somebody else. And you just can't agree to this group. But then you trying to talk about somebody's pushing their lifestyle up on you. But what reason do you have to kick somebody out of a job? What reason do you have to kick somebody out of a hotel? What reason do you have to deny somebody housing that they are qualified for just because they happen to love somebody of the same sex? Can we talk about it? What, what reason do you have to justify that? What reason do you have to deny them the, uh, the opportunity to adopt the child? But you ain't darn on adopting them. You're not going to provide a home for the child. What reason you have to deny that other than your Bible says so? Your Bible didn't teach you no longer going to hate you, but we ain't going to go there. Meanwhile, we dealing with all this. 
And Taj Call just puts a bad stain on the whole community. Because, you you know, when you're somebody of your level, when you darn go out there as an activist, you do, in a way, represent us as a whole. Because, especially as black, because there's not too many of us in the black sector that is to, uh, to the forefront. And then when you connect with the RuPaul, the top drag queen, bitch, you darn gonna about to fuck it up for all the girls behind your motherfucking devious shit. And I ain't gonna let that slide. That's why I said, RuPaul, you need to cut them. You need to cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. He, I don't need to see him on the next season. Now, I, I understand y'all done filmed this upcoming season months in advance. And y'all already got UK dog on airing right now. So I don't want y'all to, you know, fuck up the uh, show by having to cancel him out if he's a vital part of certain, you know, scenes. But as far as the next season, he don't need no, he needs to get the pink slip, bitch. He needs to get the pink slip. Because he's going to fuck it up for darn on Paul. He's going to fuck it up for, you know, the Monet Exchanges, the Latrice Royales, and the actual black darn on LGBT queens who are actually pushing it through for the darn on girls, honey. Because it just being an association and allowing this to go through makes you look guilty. Just like the people who was darn gone in association with Harvey Weinstein, just like y'all was getting on Oprah Winfrey, ain't saying shit. Y'all said Oprah still ain't saying nothing about the Epstein's, honey. Guess what? We we need our we need uh y'all to speak on Tadra so y'all don't be darn gone uh, compared to Oprah being silent when it came to uh Harvey. So, Wupaw, we need you to come out with a statement eventually, too, because we can't allow this to darn go run a muck, honey. We cannot allow this to be. Because sexual assault is very serious, especially in the LGBTQ community, especially in our trans sector of the community, especially in the feminine gay sector of the community. We can't allow this to just go, you know, under the table. We can't allow people to think because they get to a position of power they need to do just like uh, the, the, the darn on straight deviant counterparts in Hollywood and then giving that false, you know, what's that the narrative that everybody in Hollywood's like that, like it ain't no decent, genuine people in Hollywood without it being some sort of sick, you know, table caster because that's what darn on Todrick is being accused of. He's down there darn on rubbing up on all the trades and shit but don't want to trade no darn gone moolah. He don't want to trade no form of currency, no form of exchange. He He's trying to barter with his darn gone six inch D. It ain't nobody want it. Hot damn. Ain't nobody want that darn gone short, stubby darn gone six inch dick in exchange for no darn gone cash, bitch. Ain't nobody studying that darn gone little tiny thing. They want their money, Tiger. They don't want your darn on uh, prune smooth shaped ass. They want their money. So instead of you darn on rubbing up on the people allegedly up in your darn on, uh, in the sound room, instead of you whipping out your dick and shit, you need to darn on be whipping out your, uh, your Johnny Hancock. They don't want to see your darn on cock, honey. Because that's what you got at that size, honey. You don't got a dick, honey. With, with your darn gone wanna be colorist ass, about two shades darker than me, thinking your darn gone pee white like Harvey, honey. They don't want to see that cock. They want to see your Johnny Hancock on a check that don't bounce. They don't want your, they don't want the check bouncing like your darn gone booty wish they can bounce up on some of the trade, honey. They want that darn gone check the darn gone clear. Clear, they wanted to clear through the darn gone account. They want their accounts to be in the positive, not in the negative, where people having to go down to the motherfucking food banks. Your darn gone people talking about they going to the food banks and shit because you didn't pay them. And then some of y'all had the audacity to darn gonna go back. And I understand we want to see the best for some of our uh, for our people. And we don't want to believe that some of our own can be this devious and stuff, especially since all the shit that we're going through right now with Donald Trump and with darn gone Christians that darn gone attacking us left and right and shit, where our own black people attacking us left and right and shit, trying to make it seem like we're a whole different race of motherfucking people. Every time we hear a darn on argument on race issues, when it comes to LGBTs and that sector that's black, they always make it seem like LGBTs are race within itself. They talk about Hispanics, Muslim, you know, Muslim as in the a group. They, 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 I don't understand that, you know, Muslim is a religion. You could be black and Muslim, but, you know, Jewish folk. They talk about the Jews. 
the Iranians, then they go to black people, then they say LGBT as if we are during a whole different racial group. Really? And like I said, we're dealing with all this shit. And then Donald Trump being impeached where that seemed like a good thing, but then we got to deal with Pence who's really pulling the strings behind all the uh, LGBT dog on bigotry. And then you at the forefront doing this type of shit. You at the forefront doing this type of bullshit. I can't. I, I can't. Like I said, he needs to be discarded. I will not be darn on supporting Todrick going forward. And this is some, and I supported him. I mean, I, I, I had the album and everything on iTunes, but I won't be doing no more for him. I, I actually even wanted to go as far as to see the damn show. But now knowing this, that, that, that you ain't paying the dancers, you trying to fill up on them with your darn on six inch dick, allegedly. And then you darn on about to put Wu Paul in darn on hot water just being in association with your flaming ass. Honey, no wonder you, 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 you they, they had you right down near the HIV darn on commercial because see, that darn on reckless darn on behavior right there, see, that, that what would get you a darn on burn, honey. Darn on perpetuating darn on whoredom and shit. And that's another thing, because we already seen this fast and stuff anyway. And then it's like, here you is normalizing it. You normalizing rape culture, allegedly. You normalizing just being fast. But you don't want to pay nobody. You being fast, but being stingy with the pocketbook. Let that make sense. I, I I I don't understand. So yeah, Todrick is canceled. Todrick, his LGBTQ uh, IA activist darn gone past has been revoked. He has been disbarred. He no longer works here. We don't put out the darn gone exit darn gone uh, posters on him. He is not to be entered into the darn gone community as speaking on any issues for here on out. Because this right here, we, we, we can't let this slide. Like I said, if, if we call out the Harvey Weinsteins, we call out the Pio Cosby's, we're going to have to call out darn on Toddy Todd Dritton as well. Because just because you ain't over there darn on uh, penetrating, just because you the one that would prefer to be, be penetrated, does not mean that you can't be a darn on deviant as well. You can't be a dark. It doesn't negate you from being a predator as well. Just like there are females that prey on young children, there you is preying on young, impressionable gays trying to make it into Hollywood, especially in the dance community. A lot of dancers and, you know, background, they have to go through a lot of stuff. And, and the red carpet is real. And it's a shame when one of us who is known too darn going to have to suffer and go through depression, especially black, dark skin as that. So it's like, bitch, you done fucked up all the way around. You you not only you not only gay, you not only black, but you're dark skinned as well. Which adds a whole nother stigma to it. Because it's even fewer of us in the shit. How many else can we name? Like I said, we got Latrice Royale. We now got Monet Exchange. I guess a Carrie is coming up there as well. We got LeBron Cox, Jay Alexander from America's Next Top Model. Wanna be on top, top, honey? Darn gone, Miss Darn gone. Uh, wanna be a top riding queen? Darn gone, fucking it up for all the darn gone dark skin LGBTQ names, honey. But we're gonna get back to darn gone tidy, darn gone trick in a moment. But who else am I missing? And the fabulous darn on Andre Leon Talley, baby. You trying to fuck it up for all the dark skin darn on black LGBTs with this darn on devious shit. And I'm not here for it, bitch. Like I said, your LGBTQIA motherfucking darn on activism past has been revoked, disbarred. Your services are no longer needed, bitch. And unlike Shiny O'Neill, 
who her words didn't mount up the shit because Brandon Matt still came back next season and she was not fired. She decided the darn go uh get rid of uh, get rid of her own self before the ship went downhill. Bitch, we darn gonna kick you out before you darn gonna make us go downhill, bitch. Because once again, you would not darn on uh, uh, have us darn on turn back. You would not come over here and make it easy for the Mike Pence's of the world to darn on demonize us and be pointing you out and darn on. And, and once again, they point you out. It ain't going to fall back on the darn on white queens that you always associate yourself with. It's going to fall back on our black asses, even though you don't want to really be black. Even down to the downstairs, honey. Like I said, they, they from what they saying, you got a cock, honey. You don't got a dick, but you trying to push up on the, you trying to push up in there like you got a dick, honey. You trying to darn gonna fool around with the girls and not pay, acting like you got dick, honey. Only people with dick can darn gonna fool around and not pay, honey. Even people with ten point five can darn gonna push around and not have to pay, but bitch, six point five, you got pay. People who who got a little bit of stomach got a little bit of food, pa food, pa food, bitty do. Bitch, you got the pay. You ain't shaped like Shamar Moore. Ain't nobody darn gonna welcome in unwanted kisses from you. They want their money, motherfucking money, boo boo. You over there darn on looking like darn on purple, darn on Barney. Looking like darn on the purple Teletubby trying to push up on somebody. Bitch, push a motherfucker darn on pin to a piece of darn on chick and pay them what they owe. Pay them what you owe them. And that's all I got on that. Well, what what do y'all think of this shit? Like I said, I had to give my darn on two cents on this because I, I thought this was a mess. It's like, I did not expect for me to do any type of commentary like this this morning. Like I said, we got darn on voting to go next week for our local elections. I'm darn gone looking at votes and stuff for next week elections. I'm darn gone keeping up to date with this impeachment inquiry. I'm keeping up to date with Marion Wimerson's campaign trail, Andrew Yang's campaign trail, the November debates. And here you is, darn gone coming up here with all this bullshit, Tadre. Really? And like I said, we already having to deal with the bullshit at the beginning of the month with Title Seven. And here you is, darn on trying to just set everything back. But y'all leave y'all thoughts down on uh, on darn on tidy trick down below. So feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all soon with more videos. Mwah.